My name is Ross Kemp. A couple of days ago, you might have saw me in... Uh, oh. Hello. Do not look at me like that, or I will break your face. You're a quiet one. As you can see, the villagers here do not wish to want to talk to us. That might be because they are fucking recluses or retarded. Over the last few weeks, we'll be moving through the harsh terrain of France. The people here are wankers and they all smell of rancid cheese. We'll be climbing over at 0800 hours to go over that plank of wood into the dark terrain of France. This villager seems to think that we have money to give him, but we don't. If he keeps pointing his gun at me, I will break his face. Uh. As you can see, the French people don't have enough money to afford proper reservoirs. In order for them to survive, they use wells or water pumps, as the following is shown. Now, I haven't seen a water pump like this for a good 200 years. So these French people must be behind with technology. I will look inside here in order to scourge for some water because I am very parched and my bald head is sweating. As you can see, I'm very heavy handed and I have knocked the water barge away. Stop. Right there. Stop. Get it, get it. Stop it from rolling away. Okay. I will give up in trying to use that water barge for the water. Instead, we will move through the harsh fields of France in order to find a baguette or a bagel or something nice to eat. I'm on cameraman. As you can hear, the French people are still at war with the Americans who are trying to liberate them from the Germans. Right now, I kind of hope to feel that my stay here is not welcomed at all. Harassing gunfire pisses me off a lot, but when it's right over your head, it really, really winds me up. The next person to fire some harassing gunfire over my head, I will break the face. Just like last week, we have come to a point where there is a dangerous obstacle stopping able company from moving forward. As you saw last time, it is far too risky for me to climb or go through the wooden fence. I will have to summon an explosive expert or this villager to sacrifice his life in order to get through the fence. Move yourself through the fence. May I ask you kindly, will you please move through the fence in order for us to move through as well? Now this is very dangerous, this is why I have asked the villager to move himself through the fence. Will you kindly move yourself through the dangerous up? This must be some kind of spiritual magic. He has somehow just made himself invisible and disappeared for good. Therefore, it is up to me, Ross Kemp, to move through this wooden fence. I'm actually feeling pretty sick right now. This is a very dangerous moment. Um, I'm going to have to do it. I love you, Mum. Oh, come on, mate. Come on. It has proven that I survived through that fence pretty much untarnished with a slight scratch on my elbow. But it's alright, we'll move forward through the harsh landscape of France.
as you can see, we have a nice view overlooking the paddock of France. The French are still battling with the Americans in order to liberate themselves from the Germans. An RPG round has just flown over my head yet again. We will have to find some French villagers and ask them what do they feel about the current crisis. Come on cameraman. I still feel that my time here is pretty much unwelcome. There's a French villager right over there. I will move to the rear of this villager and ask him. Excuse me mate, do you want to a few words? There's some French Jesus in the woods. Give me your money, give me your money, give me your money right now. Give me your money right now. That's what you get when you mess with a Mitchell. Behind your cameraman. 